Hi everyone, thank you for joining my video today. We're going to be looking at how we're going to jazz up these Air Force Ones and give them a funky pattern. We're going to try hydro dipping them in some spray paint. Let's see how we get on. So the items you'll need will be a gas mask, some spray paints of your choice, some gloves, craft knife, masking tape, some old trainers, trainers or some new trainers depending how brave you are. I've gone for these old Air Force ones and a, a bucket. A bucket, clear plastic bucket that we're going to fill with water. First we're going to need to give these a clean, wash the soles, get all the mud off of them, make sure they're fresh and ready. Because these Air Force ones have got a, a yellowing sole, my plan is to dip the trainer and, and to decorate the sole and maybe the night tick. So we're going to have to mask off this whole area with masking tape. So I've prepped the um, shoe, it's all masked up. I've left the sole and the Nike tick because these are the areas that I want to have the pattern on. As you can see, it's all masked up, everything's sealed on the top so there's no water getting in or paint. Yeah, that's it. So now that bucket's nice and full, Gonna add the spray paint. Roll my sleeves up. <laughs> Might have to do it again. Looks pretty cool. Spray some more in there. Hi guys, so after the first attempt I've realised it hasn't really worked that well 
what's happened is the soles where they're rubber the paint's just scratching off it's just flaking off but the ticks have come out nicely so if you are doing some shoes maybe just leave the rubber soles mask them up and just stick to the leather surface because that seems to work better so yeah I'm going to scrape all this off and my plan would be to repaint the soles and just keep the ticks so I'm going to take this wire brush and just scrape down all the loose flakes off the sole and then repaint the soles okay so all is not lost I've managed to clean these up reasonably well with the scraper a small wire brush a big wire brush and the scraper for getting the tough bits off so I've kind of brought them back so yeah I've tried to clean them and now I'm going to try and paint them with some acrylic paint and see how the soles come out then so I have a heat gun got my trainers some brushes and some acrylic paint So this is what the sole looks like now, it's had one coat. And I'm going to give it a bit of heat just to speed up the drying process. Get the heat done. Right, so for comparison, this is what one layer looks like and this is what two coats look like. So you can see it does make all the difference to put an extra coat on, maybe three coats. So this one is what one layer looks like. This is with two coats, the two layers. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use Angelus Direct leather paint and I'm just going to go around the trainer looking for little imperfections and cover it up. So any little scuffs I'm going to cover up with this leather paint now. So I managed to pull it back. I made a bit of a mistake with the hydro dipping. The uh, soles didn't come out too good. So I had to scrub them down and paint them with acrylic. And they come out quite fresh now. Looking fresh now. Okay, I might do a durability test just to review how well the paint holds up on the soles. But they look pretty smart now. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.